A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular session, I'm going to be talking about a very important thing, which is betrayal, the final betrayal. Now, a lot of people actually get into this journey when they are in the runner chaser dynamic. That's the time when they understand that, yes, they are in a very unique experience, which they have not had before. And it seems to be like a scientific experiment sometimes. And it seems to be like a romantic uh, escapade. And sometimes it seems to be like any three dimensional, you know, lifestyle oriented or related step or a decision, which is like important for everyone to do. But it is the heartbreak, actually. It is the big betrayal that a person goes through. Now, there is no such uh, mention of anywhere because this study is completely download based and completely intuition based. There are no books on it. There is no study on it. Nobody has written a specific book called Twin Flames. And, you know, I mean, people have written, but it's not like 10,000 years back this was written. But there is a certain concept which is called Ardhanareshwar concept which is seen in Shiva and Parvati. Now Shiva and Parvati are very important in this study because they don't reincarnate. But Vishnu and Lakshmi are also very important because they reincarnate. So every time they reincarnate they come here for the establishment of unconditional love and for the respect and protection of Mother Earth and everything that's connected to feminine energy. We live in a feminine world. This is a creative force, okay? So all those people, all those men who are ascended and all those men who are really good with whatever they are doing, their inner work is strong, their focus would always be on how to protect this energy, this feminine energy and all the beings who are connected to this feminine energy. But the romantic heartbreaks or romantic illusion is one of the biggest push or a big step for men and women to understand this journey. So when you get betrayed, it has to be, it has to be a very, very, very difficult experience and the backstabbing has to be real. Only then you will understand or you will feel a certain type of detachment is needed towards the world, towards the person also, because you probably love a person deeply. You are madly in love with the person and as per the materialistic understanding you have, this person seems to be perfect for you. This person seems to be the right one for you. But over a period of time, you realize that they constantly don't understand you. They constantly play mind games with you. They are never supportive towards you. But if they come to you, it is always for a materialistic reason. There is a give and take procedure that happens between two people and there is also a certain amount of lust. Again, I am saying it can happen to a man, it can happen to a woman. You can be a man experiencing this via a woman. You are in love with a woman, she betrays you, she reflects a lot of karmic energies, she is not healed, she is not focused on inner work, she does not understand you and even though you keep trying to work out on that relationship, there comes a point where this person itself, who you think is your twin flame or your soulmate, this person itself backstabs you, betrays you, cheats you very badly, abandons you, leaves you. And after that, you don't believe that there is something called love that exists on this planet. When this person leaves, for some time, there is always obviously pain. There is pain, there is sadness, there is guilt, there is remorse, there is self-blame, self-criticism, there is a big dark night that comes but only after that dark night is over or that phase has less and less impact on you you start opening up to fixing that relationship in some cases some people realize that yes this was the right person but the situations were wrong so they forgive and in some cases they realize that maybe it was not right thing to do right thing to be into but this person is definitely a catalyst because this person has pushed me to do inner work and become a better version and enhanced version of myself which is a surrendered version so they have definitely contributed in my twin flame ascension journey when the other people betray you it could be family members it could be a partner it could be a boyfriend or a girlfriend it could be a best friend when they betray you when they push you into that dark hole where you feel so bad, they don't realize it because they are in selfish energy. So they don't realize that you could be hurt. Or maybe you also don't see them 
as a separate being you also see them as a part of you so whatever they do if it's not in your favor if it's not in the same tunes you don't like it but once you do inner work you start realizing that every individual is here on a journey they are all going through some experiences some of them are here to release karma some of them are here to learn something some of them are here to reap the benefits of their previous karma some of them are here because they are meant to reincarnate that many times some of them are here for whatever xyz reason you realize that everybody has their own reason but interestingly the higher you go in this journey you realize that every single person is somehow contributing to you they are contributing to you in your growth i am sure it hurts betrayal hurts a lot betrayal is so painful it is so devastating it is so shattering it is like an experience no one wants to have right and when the other person who has betrayed you when someone has given you like a final betrayal or the worst type of betrayal it feels like the earth below your feet has gone away you are literally falling into some kind of a hole a never ending hole it feels like that but when you start realizing that you are actually not falling but you are flying and you can fly your way out you can do whatever you want to do you have learned something something amazing it happens within a time frame so that is the thing that this channeling is all about that someone has betrayed you and you were hurt you were sad but when you start doing inner work when you start focusing on your growth when you start thinking in your minds and your heads that okay and your hearts most importantly you awaken your heart chakra you feel the pain and then one fine day it stops hurting you there is no pain and then you feel like what should i do next is there someone else who is going through this or even in the dark night phase when you research about this subject you are actually thinking some of you probably thought that i am the only one who is going through this no one is going through this but you find out no there are lots of people and then you find out that there are some people who are genuinely doing inner work but some people are just using this as a moola and using this just like that you know and spreading the false ideas so you learn to differentiate between genuine and false but you are not doing that only on the internet and only with information you are also doing that with love you started figuring out that there is a genuine type of love a true type of love a real type of love and there is a false type of love a materialistic type of love an illusionary love so that's why this heartbreak this backstabbing this betrayal is so important because it's going to put you in the right path and as i said there are various things that can happen sometimes it could be the person who has betrayed you could also be getting fooled by other people and they don't have strong decision making power so they do whatever other people tell them to do without realizing that it will hurt you it will give you so much pain they don't think about you they just think about themselves but you realize that even if someone says that they love me they are selfish but is being selfish bad or is it good so we understand that being selfish is also very good if you know where your self interest lies if you feel that yes this is something that i love to do and i don't want anybody to interfere in this or anybody to you know disturb me in this or anybody to trouble me in this or anybody to be a part of this if you feel like that if you are strong about that then when someone else wants to do something that they truly love you'll never feel bad about it you'll never take it personally you will think that okay they are doing something which is shaping them as an individual but if they force their opinion on you like parents do it a lot they put their pressure on the children they force the children to be like them or to do whatever they want to do without a proper mission or motive if one of your parents is into in inner work and they're crazy about inner work i think that should be okay because at least they are doing something of their own and they are not interfering in your life neither do they stop you from doing what you love that is a good thing but there are so many parents who are so materialistically challenged or they are so materialistically motivated that they constantly put pressure on their children to please them and this whole pleasing is like a disease because of this programming the child starts attracting other people also who only want them themselves to get pleased by 
the child who is now an adult. Maybe in childhood also they were doing the same thing. They have to be equally smart or they have to be equally privileged. But are we here to blame the parents? No. We are here to create harmony. Even with those people who have backstabbed us or who have betrayed us, they come back. They always come back. My dear friends, on this channel, whatever I speak, I speak out of experience. People always come back to you. Your exes will come back to you. Your old friends will come back to you. And with whom? If it is literally written, separation is written, by destiny it is written, and you still have a good feeling about that person, sooner or later, you will understand that their, se their separation with you was very important for them as well as for you. Everyone needs to learn these lessons of betrayal. Lord Sri Ram was betrayed by Kaikai Kai because Kaikai Kai was his mother, stepmother. She really loved him. And there was no way that she could have created this whole facade where he was sent to exile. Nobody would have imagined that Kaikai Kai would do this. She betrayed him, obviously. She betrayed everyone at that time. But Lord Sri Ram accepted the betrayal with a smile and he said that whatever mother Kaikai Kai wants, I will do it. As per this channeling session, this download, it is very, very important for all of you to also learn to accept whatever destiny has in store for you, you need to accept it and you need to make the most out of it. When we are too emotional, when we are too blinded, when we are too overtaken by these problems, these little bit of things that are turned into mountain-like issues, then we cannot be smart enough to find out or look for opportunities. Opportunities are always surrounding us, always. But we are not in that energy, we are not in that frequency to grasp it or to catch hold of it. We need to be in sync with those opportunities because those opportunities are the very reason why you have taken birth on this planet. Because you are here to enhance the energy of this planet to be a part to be a contributor in raising the vibration of this planet so you are here to take care of flora fauna because these are the most important things that we need we need to respect the nature beings we need to respect animals we need to respect birds we need to respect good people we need to respect divinity we need to respect godliness we need to respect these things that make earth a place for ascension it is a perfect place for anyone who wants to grow their soul anyone who wants to advance so most people come here only it is a school earth is a school of ascension and everything is so scientifically designed it is so immaculate there is no room for imperfection and yet this perfectionism is not man-made so why we say that perfection is a mental disorder or perfection is a problem? Because they are trying to replicate the perfection of source. They are trying to replicate the perfection of nature. But nature also does not try so hard to be perfect. Everything is happening on its own. And that's why when you become natural and real, that's the time you are perfectly imperfect. You look at the flowers, you look at the plants, you look at the trees, you look at the sacred geometry. I mean, if you learn to cross over, then you see things that normal people cannot see with normal eyes. So many people have vision, so many people have clairvoyances, so many people cross over from time to time. How do they do that? What do they do? How do they manage to achieve it? It's because they are connected with some higher divinity that is not polluted. It is absolutely pristine and pure. So according to me, being completely natural is being perfect. Being completely real is being perfect. Being completely in flow and surrendered state is probably perfectionism. Everything else is just hogwash and is just trying to fool people and pulling them into illusion. The illusion of perfectionism, the illusion of ego. That is what I am against. And in this channeling, we also need to understand one more thing that we have to build in harmony. We need to forgive, we need to let go, but we also need to be strong and disciplined and we need to have the balance of both because in some situations, you have to be very stern and very strong, but you cannot let it affect you. You have to be like the lotus. Somebody comes into your room, says something wrong to you. Somebody calls you up, says something mean to you. Somebody cheats you. Somebody wants to ignore your calls and messages. Somebody wants to fight with you. Somebody wants to argue with you. Whatever it is, in that moment, do what is the most detached and do the thing which is away from ego. Do the right thing. And you will figure out. With time, you will figure it out. So if someone has betrayed you, let them go. It's okay. It's just a lesson for you. Don't take it on yourself. Don't be in guilt. If you are going through a dark night and 
you are really troubled and you somehow found this video then take it as a sign that your intuition is working and your intuition is telling you to believe in yourself you already know what is right and what is wrong okay you don't need anybody's validation or apology to make you feel better because you're already feeling the way you're feeling does not require an apology you need to know that this is not something that i want to feel this is not something that i deserve this is not good for my peace of mind so you also need to you know learn to let it go and wherever you are required to raise your voice and take a stand for yourself you will know that you will so surrender is one of the most important steps it is the key to happiness it is the key to union people who cannot surrender they cannot experience union and union is not the final stage the final stage is singularity this whole journey of the twin flame ascension journey is duality to singularity and all the stages are in between duality is the beginning and singularity is the end everything else can also be non linear or linear all right so this is where i'll close this channeling session thank you so much for being here with me one love peace out and jai shri ram